they slot in side by side. Maximum field of 22 over the six furlongs, and they're sent on their way to a pretty level break given the experience of the field. And over on the far side, Land Lovers amongst those prominent, the Dragon Leader, and also, uh, also on the far side, We Never Stop. They're being tracked by Twilight Romance. Also over there is Ziggy's Condor. Up the centre of the race course van, the man leads Stanley Spencer. They're being followed through by Persica, who's just off the bridle early on. Stripe colours of Bibendum. Love Billy Boy, he was keen to post with Media Shooter and reading across to Master Frank. A grey Cuban's currently in midfield in company with Hackman. Orange Cat behind those is that's for sure. Ambush is right at the back with Je ne sais quoi and also Angel of England. So it's Dragon Leader over on the far side who leads Land Lover. Ziggy's Condor on the extreme right in the pale blue. They're being followed by Van the Man up the centre in the nose band. Love Billy Boy then Bibendum behind these. Still ridden along is We Never Stop. Uh, Twilight Romance trying to get involved on the near side media shooter but it's still Dragon Leader who's led the most of the way. Love Billy Boy between the pair Van the Man, Ziggy's Condor over on the far side then Bibendum and Media Shooter but still out in front Dragon Leader has the advantage and he's beginning to extend away Ziggy's Condor in second place but Dragon Leader's going to remain unbeaten and come home four lengths clear Dragon Leader beats Ziggy's Condor tight for third on the near side Love Billy Boy and over on the far side Pilgrim who made late progress Van the Man's right behind those in company with Hackman Media Shooter ambush passed a few late on they included Babendum and all the way back towards Dappling who's come home last of all Dragon Leader gradually turned the screw and has come clear to win by as much as four or five lengths pursued by Ziggy's Condor it was close for third Love Billy Boy near side has just held on from Pilgrim who made some good late progress late on Van the Man next then Media Shooter then the Ruck uh, Hackman's in there also in there is uh, Natural who's finished about seventh or eighth there's prize money right down to tenth I shouldn't say Quam I'd have nicked a bit of it uh, Angel of England passed a few late on Persica never got any sort of position and was never really involved unlike Dragon Leader it's been a terrific juvenile season for Clive Cox Ryan Moore partners the unbeaten son of El Kabir in the colours of the Kennet Valley Syndicates and they'll be rejoicing a valuable prize Oh, how we love a syndicate winner on ITV. Kennet Valley, Sam Hoskins and the team beat Midland Park. It wasn't quite Mum's triple, Adele, but it was still convincing. Yeah, absolutely. He's got a really good attitude, this horse. And, you know, it looks like they were going quite quick because there was plenty of them that were off the bridle, even struggling in the early stages. But he was right up there and he quickened away. He showed a really nice attitude. I, like you. They're open to kind of hang anyway here at York. It's such a big wide open track and he doesn't, he just stays nice and straight. He had a great attitude that we already seen when we were showing the replays before the race when he run at Salisbury and he's got he's a really nice horse. There's a great point there that you know you always think about the jockeys are up into fifth gear and they've they've gone for everything. And Ruby will be able to, to, to look at this. Ryan has got him to go to the front without going through all the gears. And he's still not fully engaged. He's not listening to Ryan properly. And so he takes a bit of a jink and he changes leads. And then Ryan goes up into top gear, pulls out the pro cush, gives him two reminders, and he levels off. He starts to listen and then he goes away. He's so Ryan's already, there he's already yeah. leading by a length but he would then went up through and that's brilliant from the rider to save your best until very late on well clive cox the winning trainer and the winning jockey just having a chat clive if, you, if i could just squeeze in My, matt will chat to you in the winner's enclosure i'm sure he'll be delighted here I'll, I'll grab a word with um with ryan i loved what he did inside the final half furlong he really seemed to extend and and, and get the job done very impressively there yeah obviously it's, it's only his third run he's won both his previous starts at silver Probably was a, a little. The opinion was maybe six here might be a bit sharp. But he showed good speed throughout, and when I uh, when I asked him to put the race to bed, he found plenty. He was good through the line. He probably seven times won't be a problem. Yeah. Got into a lovely rhythm as well. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, just a word on somebody arrives later on. Obviously, saved the last time. How much are you looking forward to her? Yeah, she's um, she had a great year. Yeah, she done well to win at the car. Well, the ground be right for her. I think she looks her very well in the oak. She got beat, but she's still second. So um, I, don't, I don't think it. I, I don't think it'll be a problem. Good luck, Well done to Ryan. Well done to Piers Winkworth, who I think is here. Who else run the show as well for Kennet Valley? And a lot of those owners will be here today from that sort of part of the world, down in the Kennet Valley. 
Wiltshire, Hampshire, and here in force, I'm sure. Dragon leader, another good result for the punters. Much better results for them today after yesterday's where it was really tough. The 72 joint favourites were first and second.